day, May 3rd, 2003 in Pilo, to recognize and affirm our traditional and customary role as Kapuna representing the seven districts of Mokukia or the island of Oahu. Now this is actually a kind of a trick thing because there's actually six districts unless you understand that Mauna Kea is a district in itself, the wrong of Keaku. Anyway, so, and then we go on to say that we gather to protest, to promote and preserve the rights of dominion. Dominion on that, that means everything, the right of everything, inherently vested in the Kanaka Maui people over all matters concerning laws, land, water, air, and occupancy throughout the whole Hawaiian archipelago. We the following step forth as district representatives comprising local Kiyavi on a traditional role as Nakapuna. Further, we pledge our allegiance to the lawful Hawaiian kingdom, to our beloved queen Lydia Kamakaea Liliokalani, and to our founding fathers Kamehameha I and Kamehameha III. Now, the reason why we picked those three names out and, and highlighted them is, of course, Queen Leo Kalani was the last monarch that we had in the Hawaiian Kingdom. And Kamehameha I was the first of the kings to unite our islands. And Kamehameha III was the first king to promulgate a constitution for us and gave us our Bill of Rights. Anyway, it is our purpose to join in concert to recognize one another a traditional kapuna representing the districts of Mokokiavi for the mutual protection against the onslaught of oppression, destruction, and deceit of the foreign military occupying forces and the civilian governments of the United States and the state of Hawaii and its agencies and its representatives. It is further stated that the Hawaiian people cannot, that the Hawaiian people recognize that we as subjects to the Hawaiian kingdom cannot accept posthumously or after death, an apology to our queen. Therefore, we must take the responsibility to continue her legacy, and hereby notice all government entities, foreign or domestic, that the inherent sovereignty of the Hawaiian people belong to the individuals, and that no organization, including all Department of Hawaiian Homelands, or any other group may represent the Hawaiian people without notice and express permission on every matter. Now, this is very important because what has happened over the years is we'd have a group start up and they say they're representatives and people would go, they didn't come and ask us, you know, so, so, and then there'd be all, there'd be these, these fights that would crop out of this, which is, which was, was, would negate a lot of the efforts that we we're putting out. And so, again, we all know that we, we are capable of deciding for ourselves what is best for ourselves. And we don't need an agency, especially an agency that's a, an agency of the foreign military occupying force like the state of Hawaii or the federal government telling us how we should be thinking. Okay, now, um, again, we printed this in 2003 and part of, that, part of that printing is this second piece over here. Um, can we move on to this one? Okay, and so, and the, this is, by the way, this is all in the same article that was printed in the, in the paper, in the Hawaii Island Journal. And so, this, this continues on, and this is a very important part because this is key to what we're doing right now. When we're dealing with Kanaiolo Valu, Nile Puni, and this whole thing with the TOI, this, this has everything to do with it. And it says that we gather this day, May 31st, 2003, in the district of Puna, to address the following, to state give notice and to register our opposition on the use of proxy voting by any government agency, state or federal, as well as any club or organization, civil, social, or private, on any matter concerning the development of the governing body for the Hawaiian people. Black's Law Dictionary states that proxy, in quotes, is one who is authorized to vote to act as a substitute for another, or a person who is authorized to vote another stock. Okay, so, and just a little bit about proxy. Now, there is such thing as a legal proxy where you give somebody permission, but because we know that's so easy to be, to be fudged or to be lied about, we say that we can, we're, we're not going to recognize any proxy vote, that each person has to, has to claim for themselves what their position is. So, we copy any organization for using the name 
the names on their registration rosters or registra membership rosters or registration list or any other form of registration without the consent of each individual. The following kapuna are po or other districts with others conferring. So from the district of Hio, we had kupuna po, Abi Napiai, and others like Auntie Eleanor Ahuna and Mighty Akimsu. In the district of Puna, we had uh, our poll was Robert Keeley Homalu, and other Kapuna including Deborah Pasqua and Leilani Chow. From the district of Kau, we had Poo Jesse Key, and Abel Louis as one of the other conferring. In the district of, of Kona, we had Poo Arthur Mai, and other Kapuna like Kanak Napiai, Henry K. Kai, Vanessa Gomez, Kelo Kaeo, Stanley Hui Hui, Alvin Akina, and Junior Kanua. From the district of Kohala, we had Apo, Sunny Paolua, along with Kim Smith and William Makau. From the district of Ahamakua, we had Walter Victor and Kapuna, Abraham Kamakavivioli, Reynolds Kamakavivioli, Everett Franco, and Mary Reyes. Now, this is, good. this is an extraordinarily important part of this documentation. And, you know, we should give ourselves a little bit of credit here because we, we actually published this in 2003 in anticipation of moves that have, have happened, like you've just seen with Kanayo Valo and Nayo Puni, where they keep on fudging and keep on granting each other permission to steal everybody's names and put them on different lists and saying that you're a willing participant in this. Now, it may seem like a small thing, but it actually is a very large thing, and it is actually a very legal position that can be challenged, as this was published in 2003. And so, if you follow things, the, the Akaka Bill and all that, Kau, Kaunoa, and Kanailova all started right after that. And so we were a step ahead, and we still are a step ahead, no matter where they're moving to now, because even with the efforts that they're doing now, it still includes a whole lot of proxy voting, which can be challenged in law. And so, why, why is this important to me? Well, you know, uh, and I'm, I, I have to say thank you to everybody who's responded or, or at least viewed the invitation that I've put out, uh, to come to Iolani Palace to join us on our 16th year anniversary, by the way, of a vigil that we've been holding down there to stand with our Queen. And, and this is so very important because right now it is so easy to create a document or say that you had a meeting and say that everybody was all for federal recognition, let's say. And yet you only have five people in the room. And this is the same thing that's going on in Hawaiian homes now. They're having all these meetings in Hawaiian homes. They forget or they neglect inviting the, the, the people, the, the patrons of Hawaiian homes. Yeah? But take only about a handful and say, oh, we had this big meeting in Waimea and uh, all the people were for federal recognition, which is a falsehood. And so this again is, this is about proxy voting. And this is why it's so important that we we try to find some form of uniformity in what we're doing. And that's what we're trying to do with Nakapuna County. We do this in such a way where what we're hoping to do is we're hoping to have the different items see the, 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 the validity and the value of this, this document. And and we as the Kupuna of Nakapuna Mokua, Moku Okiavi, invite you folks from the islands to follow suit. In fact, we, we even invite you to incorporate our documents into your founding documents um, for your islands. And again, we use, we use the names off of uh, the, the, the song Kalana Napua, where they call for, it says, Pani Mai Hawaii Moko and that's who we are. Um, I believe they talk about the sands of Pilani, which is Maui. And then we have, uh, Kakuiheva, which is Oahu, and Mano Kalanipo, which is Kauai. And so what we're really hoping to see here is that we will find people who could see what this says to you and what the value of it is. And we'll send representatives from their islands to the palace this January 16th and 17th. 17th being the key day, because that's the day of the overthrow. And so, so here's the trip, King. I, I know, and everybody else knows, that that since since last year, the DOI thing, and with Monica, 
and the geothermals and GMOs and all this stuff. Everybody's in a quandary, and we are trying so hard. Where everybody's working very diligently to try to put something together that's intelligible and is that is common enough for all to agree upon. And so, the reason why we did this is because we thought this was probably the most generic way of saying exactly what we're looking at. Yeah. And then from there we can take off. Yes, many things are being done to form a, a, a body of how we're supposed to think or how we're going to figure this out. But we have to start from somewhere. So, you know, what we used to do when we were going around and having these meetings at every district, and that's what we do every month we go to a different district and have these meetings. We post this up on the wall and we tell everybody that if you, when you come inside, please read these words because if you don't agree with this, what these words say, then perhaps you're in a wrong meeting. And it's very important because what we cannot, what we cannot do and one of the things we keep stumbling on is that we always find people from other camps that are, let's say, they are pro-federal recognition or pro-America, which maybe we don't. And clearly here, we are not for that. And so we get these people who would always interrupt our meetings and try to throw in the American side of things. And quite frankly, we're not interested in the American side of things. We want to act as a nation, act intelligently, and dictate our own life. Yeah? And so we say to people, if you're going to come into the room and join us, which we invite everybody to do, you need to know that this is what we're talking about and we're not going to divert from these thoughts. Yeah? And so you, you, you just eliminate half this group of people that's going to try to sidewire you or, or cause a, a, a commotion for nothing. Yeah? And it's happened over and over again. Like I said, I've seen, I've seen this type of wave come through five times in my, in my 40 years of, on, on the front. And so, again, I'm hoping that people will see this and understand how much this can do for us if we would just find some way to find uniformity, because that's what we're looking for. We're looking for uniformity. Once we are able to do this, what we can now say after we accomplish this is that we are, in, we are in fact, Nakupuna, uh, Nakupuna Poi Kopa Aina, Kohawai Pai Aina. Or we are the Kuna Kupuna representing all of these islands, and we speak in a uniform voice. Now, I know people will say, well, you know, we've done this before, we've done this before, we've done this before. And I say, no, we haven't done it before. We've tried and we have stopped when we got just a little bit. And so, again, this is all about trying to find some, some form of uniformity so we can talk as one unified voice instead of 10,000 different directions.